Hello, hello. I'm the official name reader. My job is to look through the first page of Google, review the nicknames provided by the internet, and then give my recommendations at the end. Today, we're looking at Patrat and Watchhog, and it wasn't until literally yesterday that I realized its name is actually Watch Hog. My entire time, I thought it was just Watch Dog. And I was like, wow, that's a really shitty name for a Pokemon. And only now have I realized that it's it's wrong. Even on the the little list I have for like uh, for nicknames and stuff, like it, it had a D in there. The file names for the screen caps of the comment suggestions, they have a D in it. There's no D. Speaking of not having a D, we come to this idiot. So, Watcher is dumb. Lookout is okay. And, like, conceptually, I actually do kind of hate this Pokemon. Firstly, the best comment I've ever heard about this is that that's not a real Pokemon. That looks like a rejected character from Tom and Jerry. And I hate how incredibly accurate that actually is, because it does actually look like it got lifted from Tom and Jerry. But, like, it's meant to be, you know, after the whole safety workers and vests and shit like that. So, like, I don't know. As far as terms of inspiration goes, I just don't think it's that interesting. But Lookout fits the thematic that it's going for. Lumi's dumb. A Glow is dumb. Hypno's dumb. Hypnotist is dumb. Red Eye is one where I have mixed feelings on. Because I can look at this, and my brothers made this joke with both Reshiram and, Reshiram and Zekrom. Red Eye's Black Dragon. Blue Eyes White Dragon. So I can think of it as that. I can also think of it as like the Red Eye thing, which is now extinct from most modern cameras, but was a thing that uh, would happen with older cameras where you would actually need to repair that. Did you know Photoshop still has the ability to repair Red Eye? Because how often are you ever fucking using it? So like, it's both a very surface level boring name and you could maybe argue your way around it, but I would give it maybe a three out of 10 at best although i don't agree with the like mindset behind it i don't necessarily have a problem with sherlock so i think that's a fine nickname i don't know is is there a detective pokemon i don't really think i don't think it matters but just that's fine unrelated to nicknames i truthfully believe that Galar was used to try and rule out some of these unused type combinations and that's why we have so many weird fucking type combinations in Galar, like tox toxicity uh, Frost Moth, and things like that. I believe that's just because of oh, Darmanitan, Galarian. That's because they were like, we haven't done this type yet. Just make something up. Timon is actually another thing Chaotic suggested, and it was his only suggestion for Watchhog. I don't have a problem with it. I think it's only fair that when he was like, yes, Pumbaa, that he naturally went with Timon as well, or he went with Timon first and then Pumbaa. Regardless, I get it. It's fine. I don't have a problem with it. And I did consider the idea of Looker as an alternative to Lookout as well, but I'm not necessarily sure how I feel about it. It's certainly fucking better than Watcher, that's for sure. So Amino is so, so, so full of itself that you can't even hit Remord without it saying, please join our fucking website. At least Reddit, I don't need an account to look at it. But I just see the word Blart, and I don't know if it's what they're going for or not, because, yeah, I think I can see it. Paul Blart. Mall cop, that comes to mind. Just do full Paul Blart, and then the like 12 people who have seen that film can at least like acknowledge that. I also did see Twitch on a Slowpoke Tale, and I feel like we might have seen Twitch somewhere else before. And I'm trying to think because I'm like, there's got to be somebody that I feel fits Twitch better, but I can't think of who. Like, my mind comes to like Kecleon. But I feel like there was some sort of maybe Gen 1 Pokemon, like maybe Rattata or something, that also had twitchy animations and that kind of nature put into it, as to where we don't see any actual motion in Patrat or Watchhog at all, because Game Freak forgot what animation was. Oh yeah, also this one's uh, shiny, so that's probably more the reason why they were going for Twitch, because it's purple. Okay, so we've reached the bottom, and we did find a pile of- don't right-click. Fucking nothing. I want to show you guys something real quick, just so you can uh, see a little bit of what we're getting into real quick. That's the only thing for, for Watchhog right there, yeah? This is it for Patrat. I also thought its name was Pat Rat at first, until I heard it in the anime, and I was like, oh, it's Patrat. But uh, when I say Gen 5 is gonna be kind of hard, this is what I mean. So, it's also the first time I've ever seen a baby form get more nicknames than a 
full grown for him, so that's a that's a first. We do have the spreadsheet. So if I'm honest, I don't know if this necessarily helped anything at all. Again, I don't Naruto, but uh, if that's your dig, sure. And then Lenora, I mean, what music do you hear right now? Is it Nacarine? Do you know why it's Nacarine? Because Lenora uses a watchdog. Personally, my uh, choice, I think, would have... It is Nacarine playing, right? It better be. Because I, I don't know. I think more of her with, like, Lillipup. But it's like, oh, watchdog is your best member. I'm like, all right, whatever. Anyway, I don't have any personal choices. I'm trying to even remember the ones that we did see in like I remember Twitch. I remember I remember Lookout. I feel like there was something else that was better than those because the bar is not particularly high. Oh, Timon. Timon was probably the best one we saw. Anyway, here's the other comment suggestion that wasn't already on the first page of Google. The only thing about Lifeguard or Lifesaver that gets me is just I feel like those are going to be better fit for Buizel because it's wearing the thing but that's about it they're not necessarily bad and like conceptually like they they fit the whole cautionary lookout when crossing the street but i mean like i don't really know if there's a, a better paul bart paul bart was fine just name it paul blart <laughs> call it mall cop chief wiggum check me out fucking boom zero to fifty in like three seconds there isn't really any good names for this thing, and there's probably not going to be many views for this video because there's probably not many people looking for nicknames for this idiot, or using this idiot, or anything involving it. So, if you're a passionate fan <laughs> of, of Watchhog, I'm sorry. Let's, let's see if we can give this thing some hope and uh, provide any ideas and suggestions you have down below in the comments something you've maybe used before give thumbs up to the ones that you think are good if you're an avid follower of the channel and you've been taking notes about like oh this is a generic name i could throw on a bunch of guys maybe consider putting one of those onto this <laughs> because there's certainly nothing uh too spectacular otherwise to give it itchy scratchy poochy Hoggy. <laughs>